What if I told you New York and California weren't the most unfriendly states? Would you believe me? Stay till the end of the video and find out which state people think is the most unfriendly. We ran a poll and asked people in their opinion which states were the most unfriendly states. About 2,500 people replied. I did some research on why these states are so unfriendly or why people think that. And that's what we're looking at today. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, Alaska. Alaskans might seem unfriendly at first glance, but there's more to this story. Living in such a remote and rugged place shapes people into fiercely independent and self-reliant individuals. Now I know the whole state isn't the Alaskan outback. They have big cities like Anchorage, Soldotna is a small city, but they do have some cities. A lot of people live outside those cities. The brutal weather and isolated communities mean folks often keep to themselves, focusing on survival and getting through the day. And no, these people aren't living off the land hunting moose to get by, but when you're living outside of the city, there are some things you have to do on a daily basis for survival, whatever it is, chop wood, chase grizzlies away from your trash cans, whatever. But with towns so spread apart and a sparse population, social interactions aren't as common than you'd find, let's say, in Boise, Idaho. Social interactions and conversations are almost a skill, and if you're not practicing it all the time, you might seem a little awkward to people, which might translate to being unfriendly. Now with all these, this isn't everyone. I'm just talking in general, this might be what's going on. Another thing to consider is a lot of people move to Alaska to get away from people. They don't like crowds. They don't want to have next door neighbors, you know, 10 feet away. They want some distance between them and other human beings. This is a state with a bunch of people that value their privacy and personal space. Now, if you get to live there for a while and you break through that initial barrier, you might find the people to be very friendly. But outside the cruise port, and let's say Anchorage, people are a little less friendly to newcomers. 119 people out of 2,500 voted Alaska as one of the most unfriendly states. Number nine, Massachusetts. People in Massachusetts might seem unfriendly at first, but it's really just their no-nonsense attitude. They have no time for BS. And if they sense it on you, you're giving off that BS vibe, they'll have no time for you. This is a common theme throughout the Northeast section of the United States. They also have it in the South, but the South's a little bit different. They'll just walk away from you and have nothing to do with it because they're a little more friendly and a little more hospitable. Or someplace like Boston in Massachusetts, you... <laughs> I don't know. They'll just tell you to your face, you're full of crap, and tell you to pound sand. Life in Boston moves pretty fast, and folks are always rushing around, leaving little time for chit-chat. That can come off as a bit rude if you're not used to it. Plus, those brutal winners make everyone more focused on just getting where they need to go, and they don't have time for you. But like Alaska, once you get used to it and you get to know a few people, you might understand what's going on a little bit and not see them as unfriendly. Just they got their own way of doing things. Here's the other side of Massachusetts that you'll probably learn if you do live there for a while. People in Massachusetts are some of the most loyal and warm-hearted folks around. They have a deep sense of community and pride in their local culture. And once you're in, you're in for life. It's like the mafia. 143 people out of 2,500 voted Massachusetts as one of the most unfriendly states. Number eight, Missouri. Ah, Missouri, the show me state, where folks seem to take that motto a little bit too literally. If you've never heard that motto before, there's a couple stories about where it came from. One involves a politician, and my personal favorite was when there was a strike in Colorado in 1890. The strike had depleted the ranks of the local miners. Missouri miners were imported in to take their place. While acquainting the Missourians with the local mining practices, a supervisor apparently said, that man's from Missouri, you're going to have to show him. With jokes like that being floated around since the 1890s, it's no wonder these people seem a little unfriendly. Imagine rolling into a small town expecting some good old Midwestern hospitality, only to be met with the cold shoulder. It's not that Missourians are bad people, it's just that they can be a bit, well, 
standoffish. Maybe it's the unpredictable weather, or maybe they're just tired of explaining to people it can be Missouri or Missouri. It just depends on who you're talking to. But whatever the reason, there's an undeniable vibe that screams, show me you're worth my time before I bother smiling at you. About four years ago, I made a video called Top 10 Reasons Not to Move to Missouri. Got a lot of complaints, a lot of bad emails from people from Missouri over that video. One gentleman threatened to feed me to his pigs. That's a little unfriendly. 145 people voted Missouri as the most unfriendly state. Number seven, California. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. But I think a lot of people realize that California isn't as unfriendly as they are just self-obsessed and fake. It's really not being unfriendly. They just don't have any time for anyone but themselves. I mean, you don't have time to chit chat and smile at someone when you gotta get a coffee before you go to Botox, right? But why would they be unfriendly? Well, picture this, you're living in a place where every day is a mad dash through bumper to bumper traffic, skyrocketing rents and home prices, and an endless barrage of Instagram worthy moments. I mean, who doesn't want to get a selfie with a guy dropping a deuce on the sidewalk? So next time you encounter a Californian who seems a bit unfriendly, cut them a little slack. They're probably just trying to figure out how to pay for that $15 avocado toast while pretending not to care about being stuck on the 405 for the next hour and a half. If you don't know what the 405 is, it's a freeway. In California, they just use the number. They never say interstate or I or anything like that. It's the 405, the 110, the 105. They do have names for them, just nobody uses them. 176 people voted California as the most unfriendly state. Number six, New Jersey. Ah, uh, New Jerseyans, often painted with a broad brush of being unfriendly. Why, you ask? Well, picture this. You're cruising down the Garden State Highway and someone cuts you off while blasting their horn like they're auditioning for a trumpet solo. It's not that New Jersey folks are genuinely mean-spirited. It's just they're perpetually in a hurry and fueled with a potent mix of bagels, diner coffee, and a deep-seated desire to avoid traffic at all costs. The side eye is legendary in New Jersey. They've perfected it, along with the middle finger. To people in New Jersey, New York, their behavior seems perfectly acceptable. But if you're from the South or the Midwest, talking to someone from New Jersey will definitely make you feel they're unfriendly people. They talk a little loud, they talk a little aggressive, and they tend to stand a little too close while making wild hand movements while explaining everything from their kid's preschool to a police shootout they saw. Get to know a few of them, and it's probably a different situation. You might actually make friends with them. Maybe Maybe even have a conversation with one. Just don't hold up the line at a Wawa. 188 people voted New Jersey as the most unfriendly state. Number five, Pennsylvania. Yep, right next to New Jersey, you have Pennsylvania. Are you starting to see a pattern? Pennsylvania might have a reputation for being a bit unfriendly, but let's set the record straight. It's not that they don't like people, they just have a unique way of showing it. Imagine this, a Pennsylvanian standing in line for a cheesesteak and some out-of-towner tries to cut in line. You bet they'll get an earful, at least. Really, it's all in the name of justice for the perfect sandwich, right? It's the fierce love for their local quirks and no-nonsense attitude that can come off as a bit bristly. Deep down, they're pretty passionate people, especially about their sports teams. And again, the Wawa. If you don't know what that is, it's like a convenience store. And they always seem to want to talk about that and the weather. So if you can't handle a bit of sarcasm and eye rolling, you're going to think people in Pennsylvania are pretty unfriendly. I like Pennsylvania. I like Pennsylvania a lot. I really just like the rural areas though. 232 people voted Pennsylvania as the most unfriendly state out of 2,500 votes. Number four, New York. Yes, we're talking about the entire state of New York, but really, you get the feeling people are just focused on New York City whenever they do any sort of survey. That's where like three quarters of the state lives, so it only makes sense. Living in New York City is like navigating a real life game of Frogger, where the pedestrians are the cars and the traffic lights are just suggestions. It's no wonder New Yorkers have a reputation for being unfriendly. 
And that's just the city. The rest of New York is kind of harsh too. Imagine you're trying to get to your favorite bagel spot, but every tourist and their selfie stick is in your way. Time is money in the Big Apple, and the hustle is real. The hustle is a necessity. So if the locals bump into you without saying sorry, don't take it personal. It's just their way of, you know, being. If they bump into you and it's an accident, they keep walking, but they put their hand behind them like a little wave. That That's the apology, in case you don't know. They have no time for chit chat. They don't want to discuss it with you. Sorry, here's my hand wave. I've got some place to be. And I didn't pencil in saying sorry to every Yahoo from Iowa I run into today. New York City and a lot of New York, it's a very fast paced life. And that comes off to a lot of people as unfriendly. And that's why New York got 269 votes for being the most unfriendly state. Number three, Rhode Island. We never talk about Rhode Island on this channel. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's so small. Maybe it's because every time I've been there, it's been a bad experience. One of the biggest reasons I've had a bad experience each time I've been there, it's the freaking people, not the traffic, not like something went wrong with the hotel or anything like that. It's just the people you encounter in Rhode Island and especially Providence. They're unfriendly. Yeah, hands down, they're unfriendly. But it's not just me. Rhode Island has a pretty good reputation for being a tad bit unfriendly. Maybe it's the small town syndrome where everyone's a bit too cozy in their close-knit circles, leaving newcomers to feel like they've walked into a family reunion uninvited. Maybe it's the fact that they constantly defend their little slice of heaven from jokes about their size. I don't know, maybe that's just in the geography circles? Who knows? I hang out with a lot of geography nerds and yeah, we make jokes about Rhode Island all the time. Honestly, in my opinion, Rhode Island is what I would have voted for as the most unfriendly people. Point blank, they're a bunch of dicks. 275 people voted Rhode Island as the most unfriendly state. Number two, Florida. Ah, Florida, the land of perpetual sunshine, sandy beaches, and apparently some pretty unfriendly folks. Maybe it's the humidity that melts their smile away, or perhaps they're just tired of dodging alligators and hurricanes. Maybe they got one too many dudes with mullets. Maybe they got too many a-holes. We did a video a couple months back about states with too many a-holes. A-holes are often considered unfriendly. Picture this, you're basking in the sun, sipping on a margarita, and you ask a local for directions. Instead of a friendly reply, you get a grunt that makes you feel like you've wandered into the wrong trailer park. But hey, who can blame them? Living in a state where the news frequently involves bizarre encounters with wildlife, you're overrun every single summer with tourists, and you have more insects than should be allowed by any state. This might make you a little bit prickly. So next time you're in Florida, remember, pack your patience and maybe a guidebook. You'll need it. 303 people voted that Florida is the most unfriendly state. All right, before we get to number one, if you haven't hit that like button, please do so. It really helps out the channel. Got to keep that algorithm happy. All right, on to number one. And number one, Arkansas. Who saw this one coming? I've been to Arkansas quite a few times in my life. I didn't find them to be unfriendly. I found them to be pretty dumb in most cases, but not unfriendly. That being said, keep in mind, Northwest Arkansas is like a different country than the rest of Arkansas. It's actually a different planet than the rest of Arkansas. People always talk about how they want to break Oregon in half and join Idaho. Northwest Arkansas would like to break off of Arkansas and, I don't know, join New England or something. Something. Arkansas, though, is a bit of a hidden gem, and sometimes locals just aren't ready to share their secret paradise with newcomers. Imagine someone crashing your favorite fishing spot or hogging up the best barbecue joint. Yeah, you'd be a tad bit unfriendly also. Plus, you know, you don't hear about it as much as, let's say, Mississippi, Florida, and like Georgia, but it is a southern state, and it gets hot, and it gets humid. This leads people to being a little less cordial. I think Arkansas is on the verge of becoming a very popular state despite all its problems that they have. I mean, serious crime in two of their major cities, Little Rock and Pine Bluff. They're well behind the power curve when it comes to education, but it is a beautiful state and it's affordable, so a lot of people have been moving there. So that's why we're getting a lot of reports that it is unfriendly. The locals don't want you there, point blank and period. The other two states that I would say are serious about not wanting newcomers, Colorado and Idaho. But Arkansas is joining that pack right there. 321 people voted Arkansas as the most unfriendly state out of 2,500 votes. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, be nice to each other.